Hi everyone, I continue on the lesson uh, topic 3 and this is video number, that's video number 2. Okay, so let me see. Yes, that's video number 2. Okay, so here I would like to talk about common logarithm. Common logarithm is the same as just, just a logarithm function, but the base is 10. You can... Uh, so just have base as 10 and you call it common logarithm. When you choose a base as 10, you don't need to show the base. Okay, that's agreement. That's agreement between all math people. Okay, so if you have logarithm of x base 10, you just use it log x. So don't ask why my calculator has just logarithm of x. Your calculator is just doing based on x. So, sorry, based on 10. Okay, this is the... This is on the calculator. Okay, so on the calculator, there is no, there is no option to change the base. Okay, so what should I do for changing the base? I am going to teach you this this uh, in just some future, uh, just in future videos. Okay, so I have logarithm of x, which is logarithm x base ten. So log x. Okay, so it's here. So I would say, okay, please graph it for me. Okay, I want you to graph it for me. So I use as table of values. Okay, so because this is the only option I have when I have uh, something other than lines. Okay, so I do x and I, I give some x. I find y and then I just uh, graph it. Okay, I use my calculator. If I put this in the calculator, what is logarithm of 10 power minus 2, which is um, 0 0.01? Okay, so the result is minus 2. I use, I use my calculator. What is logarithm of this? The result is minus 1. What is logarithm of 0 0.25? The result is this. What is logarithm of um, 0 0.5? The result is this. What is logarithm of 0 0.75? The result is this. What is logarithm of 1? 0. Okay. What is logarithm of 1.5? Okay. 0 0.18. What is logarithm of 2? That's the answer. Okay. So I try to find all of these uh, numbers on the graph. Okay. So and just want to make sure okay so logarithm yes and for these numbers i am rounding okay so for for this one okay so i am rounding here okay so because i want to show it on the on the graph so i just round it to for example to two significant to uh, two decimal places okay so look at this um if i have uh, so okay so if i have for example it's hard to show this one uh, and this one, okay, there. But, uh, okay, let me see. It's hard to show the first one, but I can show, let me see. Yes, I can show 0 0.1 and minus 1 here. Okay, so I, I show it here. Okay, so I start from 2. Okay, 2 and uh, 0 0.3. Okay, so this here. Okay, 2 and 0 0.3. Oops. Uh, 1.5 and 0 0.18. Okay, so 1.5 is here, 0 0.18 almost here. Okay. Uh, 1 and 0. Okay, 1 and 0 is here. Um, 0 0.75 and uh, minus 0 0.12. Okay, so this is uh, 0. Point, okay, so it's a little bit uh, here and a little bit here. Okay, so the rest, okay, so the next one, 0. Point, okay, 0. Point, uh, 0.5, 0. 0.5 and this, so 0. 0.5 and this one. Okay, so that's minus, see, these are minus here. Okay, so it didn't show very well, so I use, okay, I show the negative beside it, yeah, because it's, uh, so under uh, x-axis, so that's why it's negative. Okay, so then if I do, for example, let me see if I do 0 0.25, that's this here. Yes, that's this here. And these are, for some of them, it's almost because I rounded. Okay, so that. And 
that one and minus one okay so i don't have i don't have a space to show these two okay so i just show this okay so here when i connect them i see this okay so i can also use a just a graphing calculator okay so which which you are not allowed to use okay so a graphing app or a graphing software just to just just show this online so you can you can use it to something and to show it online okay so that's the graph here okay that has different scale this has different scale so it has until uh, so let me see yes it has different scale here here is uh, minus six to four that's why you don't you don't see exactly the same uh, you, you you don't see exactly the same image but it's the, it's the same but i just using different scale okay so you have that then you would say i have a question why i didn't use this part why i didn't use any x value from this part so that's a question that's a question you ask okay so for this i go to the next page oh okay so what's the reason okay so do you remember i talk about domain and range we talk about that yes okay so y equal a power x okay so tell me what is a yes we know a is not one because if a is one it's just one power x one power x for any x is one so it's a constant function doesn't make sense okay a is not negative a is positive oh yes yes a is positive uh, because because i show you the, in the previous lesson a must be positive okay a is not zero doesn't make any sense because what is what does that mean zero power x so it doesn't make sense okay so a is less than one and a is more than one yes we, sh we saw this how about x okay for x i can use any value from r i can use positive negative zero. Oh yes so the domain is r but what about y okay if i use a power zero is one if i put a power positive is positive if i put a power negative that's also positive because a power negative comes to the denominator and you change it the sign of the power but it still is positive oh okay so y or range or the range is from zero to infinity oh okay so for y i have to use just positive values I, I i mean i should have positive values and for x doesn't matter i can use any value oh okay i know logarithm and exponential are opposite uh, sorry are inverse of each other okay so i can say now i can say logarithm okay logarithm a logarithm y base a is x yes yeah okay connect them okay still i have all these for a yes 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 i have all these for a for both of them because they are inverse of each other they are connected oh okay a is not one a is not zero a is positive less than one or more than one yes how about y yes i told you here y is positive y must be positive here so the input i use for logarithm must be positive that's why i didn't use logarithm for negative values i didn't use negative values for x because when i use here here you see y because i'm just converting this one to this one that's why but y here is input okay y here is input and x is output x is the result okay i'm just changing the symbol because i want to just convert that one to that one okay so if i want to just show it as a function i should say okay so i just write here y is positive okay so x can be from r okay so x belongs to r okay so x x is from r the output is from r okay so means when i talk about logarithm function okay here the domain is r here the range is r here the result is r 
Here the range is from 0 to infinity, which is y, left side. Now right side, I have domain from 0 to infinity. Means I have this from this and this from this. Oh, okay. When I have exponential function, I can use any value for x, but the result is positive. When I have logarithm, I, can, I have to use positive for x, but the result is positive or negative. Okay, that's why I am not allowed to do logarithm for these values, because it's not defined. Use your calculator. Okay, logarithm of, for example, logarithm of uh, minus half. What is logarithm of minus half? It gives you error because it's not defined. It's not defined as at all. Okay, so maybe I just write this uh, there because then you just follow on this, just the order that you see. Okay, logarithm of that negative gives you error because it's not defined. Oh, okay. So whatever I want to do log as input log of something that something must be positive okay see now when you learn and you see the reason you don't forget oh okay okay so let's go here practice questions which are very good for your uh so just for your quiz or quizzes and test questions that's very good practice okay so good perfect here okay so let's do this convert from exponential form to logarithm okay so convert logarithm um x base b is y is it right yes because b power y is x oh yes logarithm 16 base 4 is 2 because 4 power 2 is 16 yes here logarithm read the question what did i say i didn't say for example simplify both sides no i said Change it to logarithm. Oh, logarithm 32 base this is minus 5. Because this power this is this one. Logarithm 1, 2, 5 base 5 is 3. Because 5 power 3 is this one. Okay, how about this one? Okay, logarithm. 32 base 2 is x. What is x? What is x? So you say, okay, I want to go to my calculator and find x. I can't because on my calculator, I just have log x, which is base 10. I don't have base 2. I didn't teach you what to do here. But you can say, oh, okay, I can say 2 power x is 2 power 5. And then x is 5. Yes, because this is 32. Oh, perfect. Here? No problem. I can change the number base to just the, just as two power something. Okay, if I can do it, I do it. Okay, so that's good, and I can find the answer. Okay, so how about these questions? Convert from logarithm to exponential. I told you. Okay, b power y is x. Three power three is twenty-seven, which is yes. What is the base here? When you don't see ten, okay. So ten power one is ten. Four power five is x. So what is x? Four power five is x. So what is x? Can you calculate it? Yes. Use your calculator. Four power five, x is thousand twenty-four. So thousand twenty-four base four is five can i check the answer somewhere not yet i didn't teach you okay so continue uh x power three is 27 can i find x yes because i can say 27 is three cubed which is x cubed therefore x is three but what should i do if i cannot change 27 to three power something what can i do i show you okay so how about here? Evaluate by changing to exponential form. Okay, these are very good questions for quiz and test. Okay, so 5 power x is 25. 25 is 5 squared. Therefore, x is 2. Oh, perfect. 
How about this one? 2 power x is 32. 32 is 2 power 5. So x is 5. Oh, good. How about this one? Okay. 2 power x is 1 over 16. Oh, what can I do here? It's 1 over 16. Do you multiply? Uh, do you do cross multiplication? It doesn't help you. It doesn't help you. Remember. So you have to learn how to approach, how to approach the, uh, so just how to, how, to, how to work with the question, how to deal with it. Okay? So what do you do here to, to find the answer? Oh, okay. I'm talking about exponential. I'm going to see 2 power something. I want to find that something, 2 power x. I want to find x. Oh, okay. I look at the other side. That's a very good question. 2 power x is 16 power minus 1. Oh, perfect. I have both of them as exponential numbers. Okay, I can continue. 2 power x is 2 power 4 power minus 1. Yes, yes. 2 power x is 2 power minus 4. Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. A x is minus 4. x is minus 4. I found the answer. So I have to see what to do for question. This is what you do for questions as um, just logarithm, exponential. You have to change them to exponential. You have to know how to approach the question. So, this one and this one. Okay, so here. Then the last one. Okay, so if I do. Okay. So, okay, let me see if I have. Um, yeah. Okay, how about that? Okay, 4 power x is 2. Oh my goodness, 4 power x is 2. What can I do here? What can I do here? Uh, okay, can I change 2 to something, 4 power something? Um, yes, uh, what can I do? Um, okay, yes, 4 power x is 4 power 1 over 2. Because that's radical 4. And radical 4 is 2. Oh, okay. So x is half. Or x is 1 over 2. Yes. Right? So you have to do more practice on these things. And you have to see how did I do the question. See? Here, for this question, I found to find the answer x. I try to change the right side as exponent exponential number with base I see here I use base 5 here I use base 2 because I see 2 I see 5 here I use base 2 but it's in the denominator so I take it up and change it to negative exponent okay I don't do cross multiplication for C for part C section C no doesn't work doesn't work for me okay so for the other one I just pay attention radical 4 is 2 oh perfect I can use that okay so then we can continue to the next question the next question is this evaluate each logarithm using your calculator here you can use your calculator doesn't matter okay but for approximate numbers okay so the number of significant digits you see must be the same as the number of decimal place in the answer okay so logarithm 10 is 1 use your calculator logarithm of 1000 is what do you think about that oh okay um okay so i have to see 10 power what is 1000 for this one i have to see 10 power what is 10 okay so i do not want you to memorize it no i want you to be able to say the answer without using the calculator if it's possible for a and b is possible for b and d no for A and B and uh, so I have to say C here yeah for C and D no okay so okay so here this is 10 okay 10 power something should be 10 oh that's 1 because 10 power 1 is 10 here oh, okay 10 power 3 is 1000 oh that's the answer 3 I don't even need my calculator here how about this for here yes I need Okay, so this is three significant digit. 
for this side you need three decimal place okay as that's agreement okay so you use your calculator that's 1.301 zero you underline that you check that it is almost 1.301 that's it remember if you are doing it in quiz or test i have to see the answer with uh, before rounding ask my students so that that they were my student before we have some students in the class that they were my student before so you can talk to them you have to show me the answer before rounding you have to show me the rounded answer okay because i ask you what was the answer before rounding you are working for a company they ask you what was their answer before rounding you can't say you don't know you you cannot say your lab teacher you don't know what was the answer before rounding okay so here three significant digit you go to three decimal place okay so you find the answer 0 0.7185 you show four four decimal place you underline that check that this part you cannot show it online uh, so 0 0.719 okay 719 perfect that's almost yes okay so i showed the answer before rounding i uh, so before rounding and then i just um okay so one second before rounding and then i round it okay so then i can continue here i'm thinking should i just stop the video so i go that just that long or maybe yes i finish this question and then i okay then i um continue and then i finish and then i continue another video okay solve for x using your calculator oh okay log x is two you need to know how to use your calculator here you need to know you need to know otherwise you can't oh okay how can i use my calculator here see i tell you log x is a okay means log x space 10 is a means 10 power a is x oh i have the answer okay i need to have understanding of logarithm and exponential in order to do the question yes i can use my calculator i can use my calculator just for here but here you have to know the the previous part this part you have to know it okay so okay log x is 2 means 10 power this is x oh okay so x is 100 yes how about that okay 10 power this oops uh no it's mi minus five okay so pay attention see i made a mistake here 10 power minus five is x okay so what is x i used my calculator here okay but before calculator you need to know okay so x is 0 0.0001 perfect okay before using your calculator you need to understand what to do okay see uh okay 10 power 0 0.341 is x now i use my calculator and if i have three decimal place in the thing i should have three, the number the same decimal the, the same significant digit in the answer okay three decimal place there the same significant digit in the answer because it's coming from the question the question tells you okay so here you have three decimal place so this one has to have three significant digits oh okay so use your calculator okay so x is x is uh, 2.192 that's almost and you okay so you want three significant digit you underline that you check that x is almost 2.19 okay how about here how about here okay 2.5 is x oops you have one decimal place so you should go to one significant digit okay so oh sorry two decimal place i'm sorry two decimal place so you go to two significant digits okay so x uh, two power five so x must be 32 yes that's the answer okay how about the next one? 
Okay, how about the next one? Oh, okay, this is 6 power this, oops, 6 power 4 is x. Okay, so x is 1, 2, 9, 6. Okay, so I, I can say, I can say 2 decimal, uh, sorry, it's uh, 1 decimal place, right? Uh, so I go to, let me see, okay, so this doesn't make sense, uh, let me see, three decimal place, here, no, here is one decimal place, I have to go to one significant digit, but does it make sense just to round here, because it's two power five, and um, x is just 30, so 32, and I can say, okay, round it to, for example, um, for example, round it to, I can say, round it to, um, for example, follow the rule for rounding, and then you can say x is 30, but here it doesn't make sense, because x has a whole number, so I want to show the whole number, okay, so here as well, okay, so this is the answer, okay, here is half power this, okay, means 1 over 2 power 3, which is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 is the answer. Okay, x is 1 over 8. So, uh, x is that. x is 1 over 8. Okay, so, if I have good understanding of the relationship between logarithm and exponential function, and if I know what to do for each question, I would say this video is very important for you. Because you can use it for questions in quiz and test. And as you see, I have, for example, for this question, I am using my understanding of logarithm and exponential function. I change logarithm to exponential and then I use my calculator. Okay? So for this question, I am using my calculator because I see logarithm on my calculator, logarithm function there. Okay, logarithm, uh, just the, the, the tab is on the calculator. Here, I need to use understanding, my understanding of logarithm and exponential, and then I change it. I change the right side to something power something, and then I find the answer. This question, I am just changing from logarithm to exponential function. I need to have understanding of that. Here I'm changing exponential to logarithm. I should have good understanding of that. This video is very good for you to practice. You need to do all these questions, do more questions. So Wiley Plus, find online, find on Blackboard, and then you are good to go. So I finish video number two here, and then I continue after. Thank you.